the, the question that I was posing earlier, Sudeen, is that we have seen, you know, parties facing uh, defections. We have seen how messy it can be when you replace chief ministers. But, you know, what, how do you explain this prolonged, continuing kind of crisis at the top uh, of the Congress, where you just seem to be almost in a state of paralysis, like a deer stuck in a flat headlights, just watching one political train wreck after the next? You are absolutely right. The press conference that Kapil Sibyl held today hmm. has raised uh, important issues, even though Sri Sibyl himself is not a leader of any consequence. But uh, the fact that uh, the Congress party, the main opposition party, mm. and the only party that can be the core of tomorrow's opposition unity yeah. is in such disarray yes. is uh, a matter of uh, deep concern mm. for people who believe in a functioning democracy in India and for people who are well-wishers of the Congress, like me. Sure. But the party is today facing a crisis of ideology, sure. a crisis of uh, organization, a crisis of leadership, and on top of all this, also a crisis of complacency. Yeah. There seems to be absolutely no sense of urgency sure. that uh, the house must be put in order. Right. For months on end, hmm. the problem is staring the Congress in its face. Right. It has faced two humiliating defeats yes. in consecutive parliamentary elections. Yeah. And as the no. Enram rightly mentioned, here was an opportunity for the Congress to revive yeah. by winning a few important states or retaining those states like Punjab. Right. And at present, and it looks as if, as if the Congress is, uh, okay. is, uh, right. may not come to power again. Yeah, and therefore, it's... the leadership must answer very tough questions and satisfy its own supporters, its own right. workers. Okay.